Hey learners, welcome to Splunkable training session. Today, the topic that we are going to cover is to learn how we can customize the Splunk login page. So by this I mean we can modify or change the background, we can change the logo, and we can change the content on the login page. So if I talk about little history, when when this when when all of these features were introduced in which version of splunk then this has been introduced after 6.5 splunk version the latest that we have is 8.x in this video you will also learn the same settings on two different splunk versions 7.2.6 and 8.0.4 you might be thinking why on two different flavors why can't we just learn on the latest release which is 8.x actually we believe that most of the customers they are still on 7.x they have not upgraded their splunk to the latest release and we will learn in this video what's the difference in case if there is any bug what is that bug in the latest release compared to your older release because this has not been documented anywhere on splunk documentation so let's get started. So we're going to start it with 7.2.x first and then we will move on to 8.0.4. Also for your information, if you are still on 6.x, then it's a high time to upgrade it ASAP because October 23rd, 2019, the support for 6.x is stopped by Splunk. So please upgrade. And the feature that we are going to talk about that has been introduced after 6.5. So let's jump in. So there are a couple of things which you can modify from front end, and there are things which you can not modify from the front end, and you have to go to or go via back end or via configuration file. So let's get started. We are on 7.2.6 first. You need to log in. So first thing we are going to do is changing the background image. So for that, even before we got start, there are some prerequisites. The prerequisites are, they are clearly defined on this doc, right? Customize the login page. We are going to, we are going to achieve first the background color change, uh, sorry, the image change. So for this, the prerequisite is that image should only be .jpg, .jpeg, or .png format. It should not more than 20 megabyte, and the minimum image size should be 1024 by 640 pixels. So for this practical, I have downloaded almost exactly the same pixel image from Google, and we are going to use the same for Splunk background. So let's get started. You need to log in on to your Splunk instance. Once you get in, then you need to go to settings and server settings. Sorry, I clicked, I guess somewhere else. All right, so this is the server settings. And here you need to go to login background there is a direct option so click on that so you can see that default image is selected automatically but i want to customize it so you need to choose custom image now splunk is saying upload a custom background image so you should be ready with your image and that image either could be dot jpg jpeg or dot png and 1024 by 640 pixels click on upload Choose that image that you want to place it as a background image. Click open. Wait for a couple of seconds and right away you will see that your background image preview is available here. On 7.2.6, it will say image successfully uploaded, but the resolution of the image is too small. So best result you will get if you have exact 1024 by 640. So my image may be have little extra large or size wise it's not 
absolute so splunk will try to adjust automatically so let's click on save right away splunk says restart required because it has direct impact on a configuration file called web.conf file please remember this file name because you will face interview question and some some sometimes you face this as in a certificate certification question also so web.conf file is working at the back end we will restart this little later because i still want to modify two more things so restart is must but we will restart little later let's click on that this is straightforward this is what you can do right the at the back end let's let's see what's happening at the back end so cd opt splunk etsy system local this is where your web.conf file is going to store if you are modifying anything the default behavior if you are modifying on the login page the web.conf file is going to store under system local so look at that web.conf file so if i if i just categorize it cat it so look at that the stanza that has been added by splunk automatically it's called splunk background image option and it is custom then login custom background image please remember this stanza this can be your interview question or certification question then search this is the app uh, sorry this is the app where my image.jpg file is placed by splunk automatically and it has created a folder for us called login custom bg that means login custom background so it has placed that jpg file there after restart i will see the background changed on my login page but there are two more things which i want to achieve what are other two things we want to add a custom text and we want to add a custom logo so let's do that also so these are the two things which cannot be achieved from front end please remember that so we have to modify our web dot file so let's add two more stanzas sorry not stanzas attributes and their values now further two attributes which you remember is called login content if you want to add your own content you have to add this attribute copy this paste this and place the value please make sure this all is case sensitive if there is underscore you should define the underscore else it won't work if c is capital b is capital it should be like this only so be very careful while copy pasting into this file now this is login content what else i need i need one more thing which is logo i want to modify the logo as well on the login page so for logo the next attribute that you need to place is called login custom logo please remember this as well so let's copy this paste this so let's recap what we have done so far the background image we have selected it from the front end from the GUI or graphical user interface and because of that these two stanzas or sorry these two attributes created automatically by Splunk in web.conf file but as I told you if you modify if you want to modify the content login content then this has to be a manual task in web.conf file you cannot do it from front end same goes with custom logo after you place these attributes in web.conf file of course you need to restart your splunk but also you need to place splunkable.jpg file under this directory so this directory let's see if this exists anywhere in splunk if not then you can create it and then you place your splunkable.jpg inside that file inside this 
folder so this is very crucial step guys please do not miss this otherwise your logo will not appear and most of the students they, they do a mistake here so better you copy this path right and save this file and let's cross check if this folder exists in the search directory so where this folder would be so opt splunk etsy apps search app server static here i should have this this folder called login custom logo do we have no we have login custom background which splunk has automatically created but we do not have this folder so let's create this one make directory paste it so i have now new folder called log login custom logo and inside this you have to place your logo file so my logo file is under me check all right so there you go so my file is under here so let me copy this copy splunkable and i want to copy paste it under here all right so now if you cross check this location i should have one file called splunkable dot jpg and this name should match with your d settings otherwise things won't work hi right, guys so i guess we are good to go so we have changed three things the background the content and the logo now let's take a restart splunk bin splunk restart this will take a couple of seconds let's wait all right now let's jump on to the main page and bingo what just happened background changed logo changed we have placed splunkable logo and the context the text that custom text that we have placed it says this is a production server for expensive searches visit to this server so this is helpful when you are on a production environment and you want to intimate your users that there is another server which which is uh, which has more cpus and you can go to that server for your expensive searches so this is what we have to do on 7.2.6 now if we move on to 8.0.4 let's first try to change the background which is background image let's try to do and follow the same steps what we have done on 7.2.6 let's get in oops okay wait a sec let me refresh the session one time please okay all right so we are inside 8.4.1 now let's go to settings and again let's go to server settings now again we're going to follow the same process procedure login background let's change the background image first it is default let's select custom image 
and click on upload the moment you click on upload you have to select your image click open and you see one error here we have not faced this issue in 7.2.6 but on 8.0.4 we are seeing error uploading image why is that so this is a bug guys in 8.x versions there is an api rest api issue and that api called api slash manager slash upload bgimg that means upload background image there is a problem bug in that api that is causing this issue so what is the workaround workaround is web.conf file you cannot upload from the front end in 8.0.4 so you have to play with your web.conf file stanza name attribute names they are all same if you compare it with the 7.2.6 but the problem is from the front end in 7.2 you were able to upload but in 8.x you are not able to upload so now let's quickly do this on 8.0.4 so what you need to do two further steps you have to do now what are those if you go to splunk etsy apps search static so here we have to create two folders like here we splunk did for us so let's check that out on 7.2.6 let me just copy this path If I look at here, oops, sorry, I'm in the wrong directory. So it should be CD app server and then static. So here I have two folders login custom background and login custom logo. So these two I have to create manually on 8.0.4 at this exact location under app server and static so let's do that quickly place the logo place the background and then modify web.conf file and then restart splunk t service so these are the things this is the change or this is the bug on 8.0.4 that you cannot do this from front end at all so let's do this i already have under opt i guess i already have two folders custom and logo i have created it let's move them quickly into the correct location so copy where i need to place it splunk etsy apps search app server static so one folder is moved let's move on second one and of course the same directory same path all right so now our both folders are placed in the correct location always remember this location this can be your interview question so i have my folders here now we need to modify web.conf file and where is web.conf file opt splunk etc system local and here we need to modify web.conf file if it is not if it does not exist you have to create one so web.conf file and what you have to write in the conf file exactly the stanza that we have on 7.2.6 right kind of so here just to show the difference we can say not server 2 we can say here splunk 8.0.4 
right let's save it and let's restart Splunk I hope this makes sense then what's the bug in 8.0.4 and what's the difference and how to take a or, or how you can bypass or how you can um, take a workaround on 8.0.4 let's have a quick look on this one let's refresh hmm background is not changed yet why is that so this looks good this looks good background is not changed let's cross check if i have background image placed in that particular file or folder cd opt splunk etsy apps so these are the mistakes which every anybody can do so apps search app server static so that should be in here oh look at that file name is different it's splunkable.jpg so i place the logo and background same so which is a problem so this is not correct so let me now see if i have cd home so file name is different guys home and then we're gonna do ubuntu let's see so i should place this one at this location so let's do it paste copy this one and under this location done now let's refresh the front page bingo so now we have splunkable as a logo we have our own custom text and background i hope you enjoyed this video guys see you next time for the next topic till that time be safe goodbye